Maxilent's sinus lift system provides a minimally invasive solution for the sinus floor elevation procedure. The maxillary sinus is located above the upper molars. With age, or in case of tooth loss, the sinus expands and the jawbone atrophies. In many cases, the remaining bone has insufficient volume to support dental implants. The standard procedure to correct this situation is called the sinus lift and is performed annually in several million cases worldwide. The current procedure is highly invasive. Patients require up to seven days of home rest to recover, during which time they complain of pain, discomfort, and significant swelling and bruising in the facial area. Maxilent provides a minimally invasive sinus lift solution, which greatly improves patients' comfort and recovery time. The key feature of the eye rays is an internal channel that allows the injection of fluids. The implant is handled using the implant applicator. The tube connector is assembled on the implant to facilitate the injection of fluids. Begin the procedure by drilling an osteotomy at the implantation site. Stoppers may be used to assist drilling to the desired depth. Use the flat drill until the sinus floor cortex is reached, according to radiographic measurements. Use the cortex drill to safely break through the sinus floor. Insert the implant until the end of the osteotomy. Assemble the tube connector on the implant. Take the saline syringe from the product kit and attach it to the connector. Inject two cc's of saline solution through the implant and into the sinus, hydraulically separating the Schneiderian membrane from the sinus floor. Drain the saline from the sinus. Blood will be visible within the saline, indicating separation of the membrane. Replace the saline syringe with the bone graft syringe from the product kit. The syringe contains bone graft in a gel formulation. Inject the bone graft into the sinus. Remove the tube connector from the implant. Insert the implant fully into the osteotomy. Remove the applicator. The novel design of the channel ensures that both openings are embedded within the jawbone thereby preventing bacterial migration from the oral cavity into the sinus. Insert the cover screw and suture the gingiva. Over several months, the bone graft will mature and the implant will integrate with a newly formed bone. The crown is then installed upon the implant. Maxillent Sinus Lift, breakthrough technology for doctors, better outcomes for patients.